the M1 Commander from Square Rock is looking to be a budget roadcast killer. Let's check it out and see what's good. All right, let's take a look at what we have here. This is a package from Square Rock. I actually do not know what's in here. They sent the email about their Indiegogo campaign and I hit them up and I was like, yo, I wanna try that. I wanna bring it to the channel and see if this is something that I can recommend for people who are looking to get into podcasting, streaming, or any type of media creation. They did say that this was prototype, so I don't know if this is gonna be the final packaging, if you're gonna get what I got or whatever. Let's just go ahead and open it and see what's good. Doing it from the bottom here because I don't want to dox myself again on the internet. All right, we got a few things here. Let me take everything out of the box and then we'll look at it together. So for transparency purposes, this is what they sent me. I cannot guarantee anything like this will be in the package that you order. So we'll just take a look at it and see what it is. This looks like a pretty standard generic boom arm that you get off Amazon. So we'll just move that on to the side. I don't even know what's in here. Let me take a look. Oh, we got a pair of headphones. Oh, now these are actually Square Rock branded. I mean, they're pretty generic Audio-Technica M50X style. Comes with a coiled cable. So on their Indiegogo, they mainly talk about the M1 Commander, but they also do have a package that includes the headphones and the microphone, which I'm thinking this is pretty much what you would get if you were to pick up this package. Okay, they included this in the mix. This just seems to be a stand for your mic. Maybe if you were using it on your podcast, you could add that up. We'll get that out the way. So in the package they sent me, it looks like they include two of the mics that you'll be getting. And we'll take a closer look at these later. I don't know if they produce this mic themselves or they're just branding one of those cheap, generic, you know, Chinese mics. But I've always had good luck with these mics you know, especially if they're budget and you're getting them for a good price, you know, so we'll see. They also included a shock mount. And since they did send two mics, they included two. And they also included the XLR cable. Now I don't like the fact that this is an XLR to a 3.5 millimeter, but we'll test that out. They also included some other cables here. So this is the base of what I wanted to check out, the Commander M1. This is one of them units similar to a Rodecaster or other devices where you get inputs, you get a bunch of button controls, a few knobs. Now I gotta say, this is a pre-production unit. They already have done some updates on their Indiegogo, but for early prototype, I'm not mad at it. It's small, it's concise, it's not very heavy. Boom. Oh, wow. I'm not mad at this at all. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hook this up. I'm gonna get a mic on this and then everything I do from there will be coming directly from the Commander M1. Let's go. Right, so this is actually the second time of me setting it up like this because the first one I don't think I did justice to the overall experience I really want to bring you in here and show you what it's like using this right now We have it set up with the commander settings right out of the box So if you were to just get this hook it up plug it right into your USB port and Hook up a mic the mic that comes included with the bundle and use the headphones this is what you could expect it to sound like. I'm not gonna do any post audio processing on this audio right here. Another reason I wanted to do this again was because I took some time to read and actually learn more about the product and what's going on. And there's some quirky things that I think, you know, maybe they can work out in a future version or, you know, hopefully by the time this is released, I would like to see changed. So on the back here, there are two ports for USB-C. One strictly does charging. So this one right here strictly does power delivery to the device. You cannot actually use it as an audio interface 
using this port. This other USB-C port is strictly for using it as an audio interface. Now, if the battery does have some charge, you actually do not need this USB-C. You could only go with the one that's connecting it as an audio interface. But, you know, most audio interfaces these days that we have connected to our computers simply work off of one cable. So I would love for them to combine that at some later date. But like I said, this is it, how we have it set up out of the box using their Commander Pro settings. And I gotta say, man, other than the fact of the headphones being really hot, you know, the headphones will be really hot when you use these settings. So like you're not, you know, your voice will come through in the headphones crazy loud, but I'm here looking at the actual audio file and it looks reasonable. This looks like something that I would use going forward on a podcast if we had a podcast set up. I do like the fact that you can put in two separate mics. So say I had another person here with me, I could simply plug their mic in, boom, give them a pair of headphones since there are two headphone monitoring options and then be good to go. So these buttons up top, like, you know, like we already showed these buttons up top, this is how you adjust the EQ of your microphone or whatever device you have. So if you wanted to add more bass to it, more mid and treble, that's how you would adjust it with these knobs up here. Then right here, we have a pitch button and that comes into play when we use these buttons down here, the top four buttons on the left side. We'll get to that in a second. Then you have your music button. This is for when you're playing music either from your phone or from an input device. Then you have your monitor button. This lets you hear everything through the headphones. I really can't say too much about them. I mean, they're just a solid pair, nothing to write home about. In the middle, we have our three sliders. So your two sliders are for your microphone. So it's a microphone on the left and your microphone on the right. There's also a slider for your instrument levels. Let's go ahead and try out the other settings right here up top. These are just the vocal settings. If you want to throw some sort of goofy pitch change. So this is the man with the voice. It just lowers the pitch of your microphone. You hit it again. And now this raises it. So I guess if I was a woman, this is what I would sound like. If you've ever wanted to know what your kid folk dookie would sound like as a lovely lady. There you go. We can take it right here for low bar and that just takes it really low. You know, you can switch it up how you want. And then we got a host button. And this kind of gives you some settings that, you know, it allows you to go in here and really adjust things. So I can add a little bit of more bass to my voice if I feel like adding some bass to my voice or come down here and take the bass out of my voice. I have too much bass. I don't like the bass. I want to add a little bit more. This allows you to do that. Plus reverb. You can come in and add a bunch of reverb to your voice. You know, it's up to you. You can add a whole lot of reverb to your voice or you can just adjust it for a little bit. Just if you want to add a little bit of spice to it or go ahead and turn that off. And then OST, this is the original sound tape and this will just bring you back to plain microphone levels. Another thing that I was really impressed with, and I don't know if you can hear it right now, but the AC just turned on. And for your boy, that's a lot because it's hot here in Texas. It's already starting to get warm. And so the AC comes on, but I don't know if you can hear it. So we're gonna give you about two seconds to see if you can hear the AC. Now let's turn this dynamic noise reduction off and see what happens. You hear it now. You can hear that in the background. There is the noise from the AC. I hear it super loud in the headphones. Let's turn that off. You know, they're really getting better with these noise reduction capabilities. And if you wanted to take it to another level, you know, there's all types of new AI options that you can use, but for a beginner or somebody looking to get just started, that's a great place to start. All right, down here to run through this, you have an auto tune, so you can come in here. And now I'm singing with auto-tune. I'm singing with my whole heart. Because you want that auto-tune sound. I don't know how to use auto-tune, so we just get out of that. And then right here, you have a music-only button. So say I was playing some music that had some vocals. I could go in and remove the vocals. 
Now I just have an instrumental. So with loopback, if I had music playing off of my device, you know, I can change when you hear that or not. So I have music currently playing in my headphones that you guys can't hear. You guys should be able to hear that now. Let me go ahead and turn it off. Which is a great feature, man. You know, if you have whatever playing, let's turn that off real quick so I'm not distracted. That beats fire. No matter what it is, you could have something playing on your computer. You can turn it off when you need to and just keep on going. You can have some music playing in the background. And when you want to focus just on your voice or whatever you're doing on the podcast, just hit that button and you can control that. I'm not going to spend too much time on the sound effects side because as somebody who ran a podcast that did use sound effects, this is great, but I wish you could do a little bit more. So right here, these top four are already in there. So you have the very well, very well. What is this happy guy? Got a dog barking and then this next one i apologize but i got to shoot you up a little bit which is cool i love that but they also have other sounds on the top floor and the way you get to those you have to hold it down and it's just not the most intuitive so like instead of thumbs up like it shows we're gonna hit the we're gonna hold it till it plays the secondary sound no if i hit a button i want that but i wanted that noise to go off right then and there. If I hit, if I wanted to say no, I want that timing, everything to be crisp. And the way it works is just not the best for me. These next eight buttons are programmable. So there are sounds on here, but you know, they're a bunch of generic sounds. You can program them and put your own sound on there. Yo, we should care for Dookie. I'm on the microphone. Let's see what's good. Let's see if this recorded. So you do have a great mix of options here. And I gotta say, man, if we're gonna talk about what I recommend the Square Rock Commander M1, it really goes up to the price. And I was doing a little bit of research. It looks like you should be able to pick this up for either 139 or 159, depending on the bundle that you get. I do like the fact that you can get a bundle that comes with this all, but I'm really focusing on the price of the M1 Commander. And at 139, I think that's really aggressive. I think that's really offering a lot. If you give me the Commander M1 at maybe 170 with the ability to record internally or even put in an SD card, like say back here, there was a slot to put an SD card in and record directly onto that SD card so I could just take it out and upload it. That would be amazing. I do like the fact that when you do something here on the screen, it does show here on the screen. So right here it says I have Bluetooth connected because I have my phone connected and I can come in on my phone and play music. So I'm playing this from my phone. I'm gonna hit the button right here. You guys should hear it. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Let's go. Uh huh. So that's just an option. But overall, I got to say, I'm not mad at this option for this price point, man. I think this is really aggressive, especially compared to something like that Mayono device that I tried out that's still over there. Now, again, who would this device be for? Honestly, we all know that everybody is doing a podcast. We all know that everybody is getting their live stream on. You want to be on Twitch or kick or whatever. So the ability to just get this, plug it in and go is a benefit. That's a win. Like even my mom, my mom is out here podcasting with her homies and she's like, yo, I need something that just easy for me to plug in and go. And I can say, hmm, something like this. If I could just, you know, you plug it in, you know, she could easily plug, take this, plug it in, connect it to her laptop, get on to the, whatever service of the, the podcast that they're using. And now she has a whole ready to go podcast option to use. Same thing if you have kids, same thing if you're a beginner and you're not trying to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on getting gear for all your setup. This is something that seems pretty easy to get going. 
I don't know. I would love to have your opinion on it. You guys let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm, hopefully I can get my hands on a retail unit and I'll just do a little quick comparison and update and let you know if it's worth it, all right? You guys let me know what you think about that down below in the comments. I'm gonna get up out of here. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. It's your kid for Dookie. Oh man, emojis for the van. Glorious Jehovah, rest in peace. I love you. I'm gonna get up out of here. Make sure you never forget to holler at your boy.